The Minister of Health, Osagi Ihanire, says unless stakeholders in the health sector join hands together to fight the scourge of pneumonia and premature death in Nigeria, attaining pneumonia-free society in the next five years may not be possible. The minister spoke at the 2019 World Prematurity and Pneumonia Day in Abuja. TV 360's Tunjiyo was there and now reports. Pneumonia premature birth has been identified as the two major causes of under five deaths in Nigeria, responsible for more than 200,000 deaths annually. This is the reason for this gathering. The World Death Organization WHO, United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, USAID, Safe Children International and other development partners are here to discuss how to address drastically under five deaths caused by these two. As deadly as this condition can be, pneumonia and prematurity can be defeated if consistent and integrated approaches are adopted to prevent, protect and care for the children. Evidence from the Global Action Plan for the Prevention and Control of Pneumonia shows that pneumonia deaths could be reduced by two-thirds if simple preventive interventions that protect against pneumonia are adopted, namely effective case management, promotion of exclusive breastfeeding, reduction in indoor air pollution, full immunization against communicable diseases, prevention of mother-to-child transmission of HIV, and promotion of regular hand washing. Now is the time to act. To decrease the deaths due to pneumonia and improve child survival, we also need to improve water, hygiene, and sanitation, and decrease air pollution to help address the risk factors that cause pneumonia. Let's protect our children by establishing good health practices from birth and make every effort to diagnose pneumonia as early as possible. For USAID, we will be making a contribution to support this effort through our flagship program called the Integrated Health Program, implemented by a consortia of NGOs led by Palladium International. We are growing in a very rapid way. But who takes all the burden? The people that take the burden of this very rapid population growth are the women and the young. For every woman that dies, there are, any child that is under five in that family has a propensity, five times propensity to die following the mother. So contraception is key for us. We know that one magic bullet that will reduce maternal mortality, reduce infant mortality and morbidity is adequate contraception. At the root of premature death and pneumonia are poor access to primary health care and malnutrition. But what should government be doing to address this situation. What is absolutely necessary is for government at all levels to find a way of reaching out and to find a way of supporting all efforts to improve the three things I have mentioned. If you are talking about uh, every effort at primary health care, the first thing that comes is the issue of health care financing. How do we ensure universal health care coverage? How do we ensure that little primary health center in a tiny village in Jigawa State, for example, or in Ebonyi State, for example, has access to care? The health as a whole, health has a lot of problems, starting from the financing of health in Nigeria. It is far lower than the standards recommended by WHO, and other organizations. Health is not free because it involves a lot of equipment, manpower, so we have to start from there. Number two, the structure of health in Nigeria. The Nigeria health system is structured in such a way that it is almost like the reverse. The event, organized by Save the Children International, is aimed at reducing the high rate of child mortality in Nigeria. From Abuja, Sunjioye, TV360 News.